Just off St. Croix, in the U.S. Virgin Islands, lies a little-known paradise. For some of us, this is simply our backyard. People have been coming here for over 2,000 years, and today it is enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. But hidden beneath the surface is something much more. This is a 10,000-year-old natural treasure, the only contiguous barrier reef in the Eastern Caribbean. Ancient corals rise from 40 feet deep and surround the island for over 30 square miles. Some of the Earth's most unusual and diverse marine life makes its home here. This is Buck Island Reef. Buck Island Reef National Monument was established for a very unique barrier reef system that wraps around two-thirds of this island. President John F. Kennedy had the foresight to make the island and its reef a national monument in 1961. He called the reef one of the finest marine gardens in the Caribbean Sea. In the words of the proclamation, he created the monument to preserve this area of outstanding scientific, aesthetic, and educational importance for the benefit of the people. We have something so special right here in the Caribbean that it became part of a national park system. You begin to realize that only a select few places ever make it to that status. The reef has many challenges. The most recent is the invasive lionfish, which can threaten native fish populations. Hurricanes, disease, and coral bleaching have damaged the fragile reef structure itself in recent decades. Over the last uh, 20 years, we've seen some dramatic changes in the reef. Uh, we believe many of them are the result of climate change where we have been um, increasing the temperature of seawater. And the reef, especially the tropical reefs in the Caribbean, they have very specific range where they survive and where they're healthy. In 2001, President Bill Clinton expanded the monument and declared it the first marine protected area in the National Park Service. Today, Everything on land and underwater to a depth of 5,000 feet is protected. The monument now provides safe harbor to all marine life and a place for fish populations to rebuild. Onshore, the National Park Service is helping to bring the island back to its former beauty. An island-wide restoration effort has removed invasive plants and animals. And native species are making a comeback. In its tropical dry forest, the hardwood trees and cacti are thriving. These woodlands are critical new habitat for the St. Croix ground lizard. This endangered reptile is now flourishing on Buck Island. The numbers of the once threatened brown pelican have increased fourfold, and over a hundred now fish these waters. And with Buck Island's beaches protected, the endangered hawksbill turtle can safely return to nest and start a new generation. Most of the turtles from the Buck Island group are from the Belize, Nicaragua area. And so they're making these um, long-distance migrations back to Buck Island. This turtle has most likely been coming back to this same beach for 30 years. She is so old and worn that um, the overlapping part is missing. She's covered herself in dirt. Even though each female hawksbill lays about 140 eggs per nest, most will not survive to adulthood. 
when she starts that beautiful ballet with her hind flippers and she's digging and using her five bones like our hands to scoop out that sand and move it aside and then finally she gets just ready to start dropping eggs. I just love it every time. Sea turtle populations around the world have declined at an alarming rate. Monitoring and tagging them is critical for tracking their recovery. And Buck Island has one of the few fully protected nesting grounds in all of the Caribbean, where the number of turtles is now increasing. But the survival of these turtles doesn't just depend on the health of the beaches. The reef will provide crucial food and shelter for turtle hatchlings and many other marine animals. The well-being of the reef is paramount. It's a labyrinth of elkhorn, staghorn, and boulder-sized brain coral, and a sanctuary for rare and endangered plants and animals. The wind is shifting. See that cloud there? It's coming out of that cloud. The coral is coming back. Right now, there are signs of it. There are signs, I can see it, that it's coming back. Llewellyn has been sailing these waters for over half a century, bringing locals and tourists to marvel at Buck Island's Reef, one of the most magnificent coral barrier reefs in the world. A lot of people have never seen anything like this. I've had people snorkel here, there, and different places, and they said this is, this is it. This is it. People come again and again and again, and every time they, they would say that we just can't get enough. And I guess that's why they keep coming back. The National Park Service continually evaluates the health of this marine oasis. Doing fish counts, coral assessments, and tracking turtles. The health of the reef has ebbed and flowed over the years but people have always been drawn to its beauty. The Buck Island Underwater Trail, one of only a handful in the entire United States, leads snorkelers through waters that are rich with life. Even on the protected shores of Buck Island, survival is not guaranteed. This ghost crab sizes up his meal. It's quite a mouthful, if he can get it in his burrow. Few of these hatchlings, only one in 1,000, will survive to adulthood, 25 to 30 years into the future. The trip to the water is just the beginning of their journey. The female hatchlings will not return to Buck Island for several decades. Buck Island has many challenges ahead. Like the Hawksbill, its future will be brighter with all of our help. The National Monument will be here for many generations to come, offering quiet solitude an unsurpassed beauty, and protection for a unique and imperiled tropical world. When people come to Buck Island, the first thing they'll see is this beautiful white sand beach. And there are no footprints, except for maybe the night heron, the hatchling tracks, the turtle tracks, the ghost crab. And when they come ashore, they bring their footprints ashore. And that's about the only thing we should leave behind, are our footprints, when we leave Buck Island Reef National Monument.
It's a very delicate environment. She's had a lot of things happen to her. So if people can leave no trace, but take away fabulous memories, that would be perfect. What we want people to know about Bakan is how special it is and how fortunate we are to have a national monument in the backyard of St. Croix. Buck Island is here to be enjoyed and cared for by all. It is truly one of the jewels of our ocean planet. <laughs>